Hello and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition, a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career and Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Caleb. And I'm Jada. And here's what we have for you on this week's SOMD Wire. After retiring 35 years, a principal looks to the future. Although it may seem that Jennifer Gilman will be ready to let go after 35 years of work in public education, she still has her eye on the future. Gilman will be retiring as principal of Hollywood Elementary School this month after 21 years in that post. But she wants to help mentor leaders in the future, specifically principals. Education runs in Gilman's blood. Her parents, Charles and Martha Jones, raised her in eastern Ohio. She was born in Holmes County and left an imprint on their youngest of four daughters. School board okays with LGBTQ resolution. In a show of support for LGBTQ students, staff, and above families, the Calvert County School Board passed a resolution. The measure was approved 4-1 to on May 26 with board member Pat Nutter, who said that he had decades of experience. A person was bitten by a raccoon. A suspected rabbit raccoon is in the Mechanicsville area, according to the St. Mary's County Health Department. The raccoon has a history of biting someone on May 28 near the intersection of Three Notch Road and Newmarket Turner Road, according to a release from the agency. Anyone who has been bitten by a raccoon in that area is urged to medical attention at an emergency department. Rabies is a potentially fatal virus that is transmitted through the saliva of an infectious animal. Getting treatment as soon as possible can be life-saving. A blanket of gray covered the skies of North Point High School on May 27th, thanks to the weather system slated to bring rain across the area in multiple lines to start the Memorial Day weekend. However, the somber skies betrayed the jovial attitude within the gymnasium as a small handful of seniors prepared for their ceremonial success walk. Now turning to sports. Calvert softball takes the crown one year after the heartbreaking extra inning in the 2A state title game against Queen Anne's the Calvert High School softball team emerged with the state crown on Saturday afternoon with a dramatic 5-4 18th inning victory over the Rising Sun. Patuxent High School's baseball team undefeated record comes crumbling down after they fall in the 2A Maryland Championship against the Glen Elg High Raider Gladiators at Waldorf's Regency Furniture Stadium. While the Patuxent Panthers threatened to put runs up on the board in both the first and fifth inning, they came up short and that ultimately cost them the game. Head coach Keith Powell states, We picked a bad day not to hit. We only had two hits. Coach Powell also added that his team made roughly four to five errors. That's all we have for you on this week's edition of SM SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit smdnews.com. I'm Jada. And I'm Caleb. Signing off.